Action News Jax investigates is getting answers for local families with special needs for their children's education. We told you earlier this week about a mother's difficulty getting her child enrolled in a school that could accommodate his needs because of his autism diagnosis. Well, now Action News Jax investigator Christy Turner is digging into a local school that enrolls only students on the autism spectrum. Christy. And the kids today were so sweet and so eager to learn. It was such a fun day at school. I also got the chance to talk to a local mother who says Oak Hill Academy changed her son's life. Not a day, not a day. From singing to arts and craft, you can absolutely have a dog at home. Oak Hill Academy is the first of its kind local public school for children with autism from three years old to eighth grade. They are all so talented, um, so smart. DCPS reached out after seeing My Story Tuesday about a local mother struggle to find the right school for her son with autism. It's a common story that we hear a lot. Autism is a disorder that impacts communication, social skills, and behavior. According to National Autism Association, it now affects one in 59 children. It was lack of eye contact, um, wasn't responding to his name, really wasn't verbalizing anything. Danielle Williams' five year old son is severely autistic. Now, since he's been here, um, he can say his alphabets, count to 10, he knows his colors, letters. Friday, Action News Jack spent part of the day with these sweet children who showed us everything they're learning in the first week of school. Williams says the academy has helped her son blossom. This school has changed my son's life tremendously. Yeah. Yeah. When the academy first opened, they started with 74 students. Today, they have 187 kids, all from different counties, including Clay, Baker, and St. John's. Parents, if you're interested in enrolling your child into this school, your first step would be to contact DCPS and the ESC placement office. Reporting live on the West Side, Christy Turner, CBS 47, Action News, Jax. And they're doing a lot of great work. And when it comes to the autism spectrum, the diagnosis can range from high High functioning to severe. High functioning people need support. Their social skills are only noticeable if they don't have support. And here at level two, they need substantial support and their skills and behaviors are obvious to casual observers. And at level three, severe, they need very substantial support with the person's behaviors impairing their daily life.